Pokemon Z was a Pokemon game that unfortunately never actually came out, and Zygarde is a legendary Pokemon that, in my opinion, that was kind of left out, you know, left in the dust and everything from the Pokemon games. I know that they gave him, like, a new form in Gen 7, and they had some lore about him in, like, the anime and stuff, but I feel like he deserves his own game, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zygarde is a pretty cool legendary, and... If I'm not mistaken, I believe Pokemon Z was actually in production, but they did cancel it due to, like, lack of time with other games and stuff, you know, because they were dealing with several games at one time. And since Zygarde was never actually featured in its own game, I feel like Legends Zygarde would be a pretty cool game to have. I wrote a short storyline of what it could look like. Don't roast me too hard. I know that this storyline's probably not great. I've never really made, like, a Pokemon game storyline before. I just kind of whipped this one up. I thought it was kind of fun. So, I'm gonna share it. Yeah, just don't roast me too hard. But if you have any suggestions of, like, what to change, you know, let me know. So, imagine a region where there's a huge war going on, and people have to stay hidden, or else they risk losing, like, their village, and the people, and their Pokemon, and everything. And so, they need to stay safe, so they build towns and gyms, like, on top of mountains, or in a mountain, or in, like, a thick forest where it's covered, or pretty much just anywhere that's hidden, like, just not out in the open. Places where you kind of have to really search to find it, you know what I mean? Like, they would carve a giant cave in a mountain, maybe there's a big town there, or on top of a really tall mountain where it's, like, nearly impossible to get to and everything. And within this world, you know, people still have their own Pokemon, like, people catch can catch their own Pokemon and everything, but there are also evil Pokemon out there. These towns and people and civilizations are hiding because of the enemy team, don't really know who the team would be, don't really have a name or anything, but let's just say the enemy team. I don't really want to come up with a name, to be honest, but the enemy team is trying to build a weapon to, like, supercharge their Pokemon to basically destroy the region. So they want to hide, and obviously these enemy people are going to take out anyone in their way. In this game, you still play the game kind of like normal, you know, you're going out, leveling up your team, catching new Pokemon, but you got to be careful when you're out in the open, you know, you got to watch out for the enemy team and everything. And if you encounter anyone, you got to beat them, you know what I'm saying? You just got to beat them, like in any other Pokemon game. But you still level up your Pokemon, you still catch new Pokemon, you finish different side tasks to get, you know, bonus items, whatever. And when you beat one gym, that gym leader has to give you a clue or a hint as to where the next gym is located because, you know, since everyone's trying to hide in the region, you have to go based on what you have, like the information you have. You have to use these hints and clues to find the next gym. And after every single gym, you know, you get big upgrades. Think of how Scarlet and Violet were, where you over time got different abilities with Corridon and Maradon. Like, you didn't just get the ability to fly and go over water and travel, the like fast travel and everything right away. You had to, you gradually unlocked those features as the game played on and you beat people and everything. So think of it like that. And as you play the game, you also have to find different clues around the map as to where Zygarde is because he's nowhere to be found. He's there, but he's nowhere to be found. So maybe you have to find different like etches and caves or find old like really old documents or find certain people that may have any information as to where Zygarde may actually be. After you beat the eight gyms you have all the information you need then you begin your hunt to find Zygarde and you discover that he's laying dormant and an extremely deep tunnel slash cave system type of thing and you have to wake him up using a special flute that you get after beating the eighth gym. Once you wake him up he helps you create peace and balance within the region and he stops the enemy team from destroying their region and turns their Pokemon into good Pokemon so they're not, you know, a threat to the other civilizations out there. And then you help Zygarde go to where he truly belongs, you know, not laying dormant in a deep cave. While you're doing that, all the other towns in hiding are beginning to build and expand out to the open because they don't have to hide anymore. So I don't really know exactly what the starters would be for this game. I'm thinking Snivy would be a pretty good grass type just because I feel like his aesthetic kind of matches. You know, he's green, Zygarde is green. I know every grass Pokemon is, you know, pretty much green, but I just feel like Snivy matches pretty well. But I don't know who I'd pick for the fire and water type. Please leave a comment down below who you guys would want to see. What three Pokemon starters would you want to see in a Legends Zygarde game? I mean, I really liked the Kalos region, and I really liked X and Y, and I feel like Legend Zygarde would be a really good redemption game for Zygarde, because, like I said earlier, Pokemon Z was reportedly in production, but it was cancelled, 
and I think it's a really cool Pokemon. You know, they have lore behind it already. So a game based around Zygarde, they could really go in depth about the lore. You know, they could definitely add a lot more than what I just said. Like, I'm not a storyline. Like, I'm no story creator or anything like that. There are definitely a lot of things within my story that you could also add, like just more lore and in-depth story. The really awesome thing about like any Legends game is that there are just really so many options to pick from. There are so many mythical and legendary Pokemon out there. Pretty much all of them would make a really great game. The only one that would not make a good game would be uh, Legends. Oh crap, what's that Pokemon? It's the 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 Gorilla Monkey from Sword and Shield. I can't remember his name, but he does not look like that crazy of a Pokemon. I thought he was a regular Pokemon. Like there are just so many cool Pokemon. You know, like Victini would even make a cool Legends game. Or I mean, it's really unknown as of right now if Pokemon or Nintendo if they're ever going to even make another Legends game. It's all basically just like fan speculation that they will hopefully in the future because Legends of RCS was pretty fun and like it's a really cool concept that you can go back in time and explore like a new part of like a region and have different starters than you typically would and having all this new lore and information. I just think it's really neat and it's definitely a cool concept and a cool break I guess I'll call it from like regular mainline games. Oh and also I'm pretty sure recently the Pokemon company announced that they're going to like, also there's a leaf blower going outside, so I hope you guys can't hear that, it's right outside my window. But anyways, I'm pretty sure Nintendo, Pokemon Company, whatever, they said they're going to be slowing down production of their Pokemon games, or slowing down their release schedule, because I'm pretty sure they said something about, like, it's just too much, or something like that, or they want to have the best possible game out there. Which is a really smart decision, to be honest. It kind of sucks, because we're going to probably get less Pokemon games, but hopefully that means the quality of the Pokemon games that we do get is going to increase dramatically. I really hope so. Like, Scarlet and Violet, they were really fun games, but they had their issues. But imagine Scarlet and Violet if it was... Imagine how great Scarlet and Violet would have been if they were really thoroughly produced. Like, if they just took their time on those games. Which I'm sure they had a pretty good time schedule, but they definitely rushed it. Which is fine, but you know, they're going to fix it, hopefully. I guess we'll see what they're going to do. I don't really know exactly what the schedule is going to be. I didn't really read the whole article. I just kind of saw it up there online and kind of saw like a short video about it. But, because the typical schedule is like, they, they release, you know, like one brand new mainline series game. Like a new generation game. Then they do like a remake, and then they do, like they skip a year sometimes. I forgot what their exact schedule is. It's kind of a lot to remember. It's too much for me to remember, let's just say. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys would want to see in a Legend Zygarde game, or if you would even want to see a Legend Zygarde game. Or if you don't, let me know what Legends game you would like to see. Because, you know, there are just a lot of legendary and mythical Pokemon. And I feel like a lot of people talk about, you know, like Legends Celebi or Legends Kiram. Which would be cool, or Legends of Rayquaza would actually be a really awesome one. But I feel like we could all, as a community, because people are always talking about Legends game, about like the most popular legendary Pokemon. But there are definitely some different legendaries out there that have some really unique like storylines to them that could be explored in the future. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.